Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. For watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you. Defense critical tech on agenda as PM Modi heads to US. Taliban treatment of women could be gender apartheid, says UN expert. And Nepal begins early celebrations for International Yoga Day. And now for all the details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday embarked on a visit to the United States, billed as a turning point for bilateral relations between New Delhi and Washington. In a statement, PM Modi said India and US stand stronger in meeting the shared global challenges and his visit will further reinforce bilateral ties. Major announcements are expected during the visit, which includes US approval of manufacturing GE engines in India for its indigenous aircraft, purchase of 31 armed MQ-9B Predator drones and removal of US obstacles that prevent smooth trade in defense and high technology. Discussion on semiconductors, aerospace and cyberspace are also likely to take place between the two leaders. It's the third official state visit to any Indian leader in 76 years. Um, it is also going to be the third state visit that the Biden administration is offering any leader after the Japanese and the South Korean leaders. Uh, so symbolically it's important for President Biden because the Biden administration has placed a strategic bet on India that India's rise is good for American national interest. The United States also sees India as a vital partner in its efforts to push back against China's expanding influence worldwide and strengthen security in the Indo-Pacific. India's Health Minister Mansukh Mandavi on Tuesday chaired a high-level meeting to review public health preparedness amid the prevailing heatwave conditions across the country. This comes after multiple newspapers reported more than 50 deaths due to heat complications amid hot weather in the states of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, a claim refuted by officials. The India Meteorological Department had issued a red alert warning last week of extreme heat in some regions of the country, including both the states. If you talk about this UP, there will be एक दो हिस्से में हीट वेव मीन टेंपरेचर जब सामान्य से 4.5 डिग्री ज्यादा होता है वहां हो सकता है समर्स इन इंडिया आर डिफिकल्ट टाइम पॉसिबल रीजंस फॉर द राइजिंग टेंपरेचर्स रेंज फ्रॉम क्लाइमेट चेंज टू ग्रेटर अर्बनाइजेशन लीडिंग टू टॉलर बिल्डिंग्स एंड डिमिनिशिंग ग्रीन कवर रेस्क्यू टीम्स फ्रॉम द यूएस एंड कनाडा आर करेंटली एंगेज इन अ रेस अगेंस्ट टाइम टू फाइंड अ सबमरीन दैट हैज गॉन मिसिंग in the North Atlantic with two Pakistanis on board. The submissible vessel carrying five individuals, including Pakistani billionaire Shehzada Dawood and his son, was taking tourists to explore the wreckage of the Titanic before it lost contact with the boat on surface on Sunday morning. Ocean Gate Expeditions, the company operating the expedition, said it was mobilizing all options to rescue those on board. According to a U.S. Coast Guard official, the vessel had capacity to be submerged for 96 hours, but it was unclear whether it was still underwater or had surfaced. And highlighting exploitation, government employees in Gilgit, Baltistan recently staged a massive protest to demand promised incentive allowances, which they are being deprived of for the past many years. A report. Gilgit, Baltistan Secretariat employees held a massive protest recently to demand 150% incentive allowance, which was promised to them but has been facing a bureaucratic blockade. Highlighting discrimination, the protesters blamed that the authorities in the occupied region have kept on delaying the process for the past several years, citing excuses like low budget. They said they will keep on protesting for their rights which are being deprived to them. So, in the secretariat, there are a lot of departments. My advice is that we all of the secretariat have to give our date 100% of the incentive allowance. Our advice is that we all of the secretariat have to give our date 100% of the incentive allowance. हमारा हक हमें दिलाया जाए। सेक्टर फाइनेंस अब हमारे फेवर में हैं। सिर्फ वो अभी बजट के इशारे दे रहे हैं कि हमारे पास बजट माइनस में जा रहा है। मैं कहता हूँ कि क्या सिर्फ इंसेंटिव के अलाउंस के लिए माइनस में जा रहा है? 
तो हमारी गुजारिश है कि हमारे इंसेंटिव अलाउंस की जो फाइल है जो समरी है वो चीफ सेक्रेटरी को मुफ्त की जाए ताकि हमारे जो मुलाजिमन में ये तशीश पाई जाती है ये खत्म हो जाए पीपल वर्किंग इन डिफरेंट गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट इन गिलगित बाल्तिस्तान often accuse that their long due salary hike and promotions are put on hold while the same allowances are given to their counterparts in Pakistan UN special rapporteur Richard Bennett told the Human Rights Council in Geneva on Monday that the treatment of Afghan women and girls by the Taliban could amount to gender apartheid as their rights continue to be gravely infringed by the country's de facto authorities Bennett said the grave systematic and institutionalized discrimination against women and girls is at the heart of Taliban's ideology and rule. Um, we have uh, more specifically outlined issues of uh, gender persecution in the report uh, and we have pointed to the need uh, for more exploration of uh, gender apartheid which is not uh, currently um uh, an international crime um but could become so and we have noted that it appears if uh, one applies the definition of apartheid which at the moment is is for race um uh, to the situation in Afghanistan and use uh, sex instead of race uh, then uh, there seem to be strong indications uh, pointing towards that Since seizing control in 2021 the Taliban has closed more secondary schools to girls imposed a ban on female students attending universities and Afghan women working for aid groups and the UN in accordance with their strict interpretation of Islamic law Scores of yoga enthusiasts and followers on Tuesday gathered in the Lumbini Square in Nepal and performed various asanas or yogic postures ahead of the International Day of Yoga It was the first time that such a large scale yoga event was organized in Lumbini the birthplace of Lord Gautam Buddha The event was led by Indian ambassador to Nepal Navin Srivastav who was joined by Nepal's tourism minister Sudan Kirti and other high ranking officials The minister stated that yoga is a gift to the world from the Indian subcontinent He ne bayani rupma sutra baddha gareko yo patanjali yo भनेर चिनिन्छ योग सूत्र निर्माण गर्न धेरै ऋषि मुनिहरूले योगदान गरेको छ त्यसमा गौतम बुद्धले पनि योगदान पुर्याउनु भएको छ त्यसकारणले भारतबाट योगको इतिहास सुरु भए पनि नेपालको पनि योगदान रहेको कुरा म स्मरण गराउन चाहन्छु Thousands of devotees from India and across the world gathered in India's Puri district as the 9-day long Jagannath Puri Rath Yatra or Chariot Festival commenced on Tuesday with great fervor. The chariots carrying idols of the Holy Trinity, Lord Jagannath and his siblings Balbhadra and Devi Subhadra were decked in bright colors and adorned with flowers as the gods set out for their journey. Devotees jostled with each other to touch the over 40 feet high chariots amid chants and beats of gongs while artists performed folk dance. A glimpse of idol of Lord Jagannath on the chariot is considered to be very suspicious and saints, poets and scriptures have repeatedly glorified the sanctity of the festival. Extremely overwhelming to be here in the midst of so much devotion, so much love, a river of love. and the lord is coming out for all of us to give his mercy all of you take advantage of the holy places and the spiritual culture of india this is what real india is really all about that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night tag tv brings you daily news bulletin from india breaking news and views from india